This is the milk detergent and food coloring experiment. The first thing we need to do is gather all the materials. Food coloring, paper plate, milk, detergent, and Q-tip. The first thing you need to do is put the milk in the paper plate. Then you put the food dye. Theoretically, you should have more than one color, so I'm using four. You then put the Q-tip into the detergent and wipe off all excess. Once you have removed all excess, you can dip the Q-tip into the plate in the center of where you put the food dye. The food coloring liquids flow in the center of the milk bowl because all of the milk's surface tension is even across the bowl. When the detergent is added into the middle, the surface tension is broken and unbroken surface tension draws the majority of the food coloring to the outside of the bowl, creating a colorful design. To start to describe what is happening, intermolecular force needs to be defined. Intermolecular force are the forces which mediate interaction between molecules, including forces of attraction or repulsion which act between molecules and other types of neighboring particles. The way that this force is acting on this experiment is through the milk and detergent. The intermolecular forces of milk are based on the covalent bonds in the milk molecules. Milk is mostly water, so to describe its intermolecular forces, the two hydrogen atoms of water are unevenly distributed on the oxygen, creating positive and negative ends of the water molecule. The positive end of one molecule is attracted to the negative end of the adjacent molecule. This attraction is spread evenly throughout the liquid, except at the surface where there are no molecules above the water pulling in that direction. Therefore, there is a downward force pulling the milk to itself on the surface of the milk. It requires an amount of force to break that bond. For example, insects like flies or mosquitoes who are light and have hydrophilic feet can rest on top of milk because they do not exert enough force to break the surface tension. The reason why the surface tension is broken is because detergents are able to break through the surface tension because they have two polar ends, one which is hydrophilic, which is milk attracting, and one which is hydrophobic, which is milk repelling. The difference between polar and nonpolar molecules is that polar molecules have two parts with opposite charges, positive and negative, while nonpolar molecules have no charge, which means it has no opposing charges and no dipole. A dipole is a separation of opposite electrical charges. This experiment can be seen in the real world when washing clothing. So the surfactants and detergents improve the water's ability to spread over surfaces as it pushes it away. So this helps seep the water into dirty clothes fibers. Surfactants do another important job too. One end of their molecule is attracted to water while the other end is attracted to dirt and grease. So the surfactant molecules help water to get a hold of grease, break it up, and wash it away.